Welcome back. We're going to continue RPG Maker VX Ace as we make our printed cast RPG. But we're going to continue with the demo program a little bit, or well, our demo map, a little bit longer. We're going to make ourselves a town and uh, go through some more basics before we get too far along. Demo town. And we need our exterior map. Once again, we're not going to change the size. Actually, yes, let's let's do that so I can show you how to do this. Right here is your width and height. These are by the individual blocks. So just f we're not really going to designate the whole thing here, but uh, we're going to do this anyway. We're going to get our bucket, which is up here. It's basically like a paint program. You just fill in the whole thing. And we're going to make some quick roads like this make a little area here and like this we're not going to spend a lot of time fleshing all this out we're not here to make things pretty we're here to get things done so we're gonna put some buildings here uh, it's been a while since I've worked with this particular <laughs> standardized set so I'm not sure how to make the roofs bigger because that looks like a very tiny building very tiny indeed and I don't think this Okay, they do. Good, good, good. I was hoping they would do something like that. Okay. Then we can do this right here. These are auto-scroll type things. Good! That makes things much easier. And we're going to make ourselves... Uh, let's put a window on one side. Oops. Not bad. And then the door on the other. Which I believe the doors are down here. Are they extras? They may be extras. So we will do... Hmm. There we go. And we'll go into our uh, events. Double click on this. And we're just going to put the door in for the moment. We'll worry about the insides later. Uh, that looks like a pretty basic door right there. I'll take it. And I'm just going to copy paste over here to this one. And they look like they're only half, but they will extend to the top up there. So don't worry about that. And they will be animated too, which will be nice. Uh, before we go, let me see. Is there any extra little nifty things? There's lots of graphics here that we could put in. Um, put in some trees. Let me make sure I'm back on the paint thing again. And liven this thing up a little bit. Even though we're going to be moving quite fast. See, we've already got it making a little look a little better here and there's no aesthetics going on here I'm just doing stuff and uh, we can even put in a little water basin let me see I think this would be the better way to do this something like that how about that we could put bridges and stuff but we're not focusing on that right now uh, we do need a central entry point so I'm going to go ahead and remove this and this is the fastest way to do that so Right here will be our entry. So we'll go ahead and go back up here. And we're going to make our transfer player, just like we did before. And we're going to go back out to the main map and put it just above. I know it looks like he's coming in from below, but that's that's fine. Even the retain's going to do that. And I'm going to copy-paste just like that. And so either one of those will take him to the other place. Now, it's best to put, like, mountain ranges or a wall or something to keep the player from wandering around. But, again, we're not going for the major details here. We're just fixing these so we can get moving as fast as possible. So we do this the same way. And I may not have noted it before, but you don't want to put him coming in on the same area that uh, the transporter's at. And we'll just copy paste that again so it doesn't matter which one of these blocks you walk on he'll automatically be taken there now there's something else i'm going to do here map properties we're going to do the auto change background music and we're going into a i think that's right <laughs> we're going to go into a town so we'll just that works for me now I need to stop the music, sorry. <laughs> okay, so when we come in here, it's going to change the music into this. 
and we won't worry about one of these buildings we're just going to work on the one so new map inside I cannot type and this is going to be a shop so we're going to uh, add properties yes I'm, I'm fumbling again that's not what I want we can work on that stuff later um, interior so we just need a little building I'm not going to spend a lot of time designing this I'm not even going to put the walls just to make this a little faster but I would like something like that something like that just to give it a little bit of personality and a little desk right there and we're going to put a dude here so we're going to make ourselves another event first we're going to get a graphic let's get say this dude right here and he's going to be our shop and there is a special function right here called shop processing and uh, the goods he's going to be able to sell we can select from the item list that's in that database that you saw in the last episode so I am going to make it where he can get a battle axe an upgrade standard price or you can specify a your own price this will allow you to have like certain characters that have sales or something and I'm also going to give him potions and uh, you can sell or buy at this particular one you can make it where it's purchase only and we want to make sure that we know what we're doing so hello buy anything you want how's that and you know what we're going to give him a face graphic too that's matches the character that's on there so perfect that's how simple that is now once again a lot of this stuff is going to be changed when we actually get to the point of making our other game but for the moment this is working out just fine we're going to make our n other transfers I know I'm moving possibly fast but I think this is working out well enough that everybody can follow along and then our demo town scroll ourselves back up here again and on this instead of the teleporter being normal this is going to be the action button yes that reminds me I need to fix the one I just did but uh, Yes, transfer player, just like we did before. And this one will take us inside. And I did fumble that once again. I'm not quite used to things. Player touch. So now when he walks inside, and we'll demo that in a moment so you can see everything. Uh, there is one more thing I'm going to do, though. You know, there's characters that wander around and stuff, but this is going to be different. I am going to do a very special little episode. Hello. I am amazing. So I will join you. Yep. We are going to create an ally character. Before I get too far though, I need to find out who the next character on this particular list is. Actors. It shall be Natalie the Monk. Okay. So, back into here again. And we'll replace this find who that was right there I'm Natalie now you'll notice over here there's these little spots here this will tell you where the cuts going to be if you have a portrait then uh, you'll want to cut sooner if you don't have a portrait you can leave it up here otherwise all of this out here the message will start getting missed you can also change the background and the position of where you want the entry or the the message and you can even preview see and it actually looks like it's cutting even shorter than what it's claiming so hmm. that's better <laughs> I think I'll go ahead and put the eye down here You'll have to watch that. This is not a perfect science, I don't think. And so, uh, for this, change party member. And we're going to add Natalie. And she will be new to the team. And just because this is a special event, we want a little more to it. And we are going to play the sound effect of... Actually, no, 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 no. Even better. There's Emmys. 
Now these are usually uh, little short things. It's a bit long, but that'll do. And this one will be Natalie joins you. Simple, simple. Now we also need to make sure that we have our Natalie graphic. Um, I think that's her, but it sure didn't look like her. Okay. However, there's one more thing we need to do, otherwise we'll continue to <laughs> have Natalie joining you over and over and over every time that we do this. So we have to do the same thing we did before and have a self switch. Put it on A and create a new event page, that tab again, and put this where when this is on, there is nothing. I didn't get into this heavy last time, but this basically blanks out all that. So now we can join a, a character. Now a character will join us. And that will be her right here. I think just about everything actually. Yeah, there's that. Everything else should be according to plan. So we're going to test this real quick and uh, see how this goes as a whole. Now, all right, we're gonna get our chest. We're gonna walk in here. Oops, gotta hit the button. And, uh, oh, our doors are indeed messed up, so. <laughs> Whoops, I still have some learning to do. And we don't have enough money for that, but we do have enough money for that. So we're going to exit ourselves back out of here. And we're going to get our new partner. Uh-oh. She cloned herself. Okay, I'll have to watch that part. But there we go. Now she's in our party. Yada yada. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get that super armor on. Well, not super armor, but hard leather. So that we're nice and well fit for our boss battle. Oops, something else I didn't change. That music is going to follow us all the way to the boss. So that's bad. So we're going to quickly beat up on this guy here. All right. Boom. There we go. But uh, I think most of what we're going to be doing from here on out is actually starting to working on the RPG itself. I think I just need the top half of the door up here, but they still should be animating when it's touched. At least that's what I understood. Oh, these are short doors. That's that's why. Oh, because I'm chippy characters. Yes, okay, that's... <laughs> that's where I screwed up. I'm still using the old system. Oops. I am still used to uh, 2003 and XP, so that was my bad. That works just fine. The animation's not working yet, but we're, we'll get into all of this type of stuff later. And uh, for now, that's all we'll do today. But there's going to be a whole lot more to come, and we'll actually start on the uh, Printcast RPG itself next time. So until then, dudes, later.